the flow sports radio ah uh, yeah <laughs> Hip Hop Sports Radio. And you're listening to The Flow Sports Radio Show. Matthew Shack in the building doing what we do. We're going to get right into it. Week 17, the last week of the regular season is in the books. But guess what? I got something I got to tell y'all. And one thing that I hate more than fans of teams that didn't make the playoffs talking crazy about teams that do is snitching. Snitches get stitches and get thrown in ditches if you didn't know. But this I got to say, I got to say this one, I got to tell y'all. That's why I got this mask on. I want to report a robbery. I want to report a mugging. Somebody got their chain snatched. What chain? Somebody got their chain took right on the field. Oh man, that's messed up. Won't you give him back his chain? Debo, aka Akib Talib, snatches what chain? Raider wide receiver Michael Crabtree's chain right on the field. Hey man, why y'all didn't help me? And and I'm high. All I got to say is, it's art imitating life because that was straight out of Friday. When my grandmama gave me that chain. Michael Crabtree what chain? is probably crying in the car right now. Hey man, why y'all didn't help me? But a kid to lead, just like at the end of the movie, he got knocked the you know what out because he didn't make the playoffs. As the nine and seven Broncos win 27 to six over the 12 and four Oakland Raiders. Now that I got that out the way, I can go back to my regular schedule program. Man, my grandmama gave me that chain. That's pretty much it. Matt McGloin got hurt. Connor Cook came in in relief, threw a touchdown pass to uh, Amari Cooper, and the Broncos ran rough shot over my Oakland Raiders. That's it, that's all. But guess what? We in the playoffs and the Broncos ain't. So we're going to keep it moving as we move the chains. Next game we want to talk about, we want to talk about discount double check. Keeps his word and runs the table for the rest of the regular season by going uh, 10 and 6 with the Packers. They went 31 24 with the 9 and 7 Lions. And I'm going to tell you this right now. I know you Dallas Cowboy fans, y'all think y'all got this in the books. Y'all think the Super Bowl and the Vince Lombardi trophy is just already engraved with y'all names on it. But there's going to be some teams that are going to have something to say about that. And Aaron Rodgers is playing some of the best football of his life right now. The dude is playing up to his MVP level back in 2006 when he won the Super Bowl. So I'm letting that be known right now. Uh, Lions, I'm disappointed because I thought you guys were going to be able to do a little bit more. But you still got the playoffs. You're in the playoffs. We're going to see what happens. Anything can go. Next game we want to talk about as we move the chains. Um, the next team you Dallas Cowboy fans and aficionados need to be concerned about is them 11-5 and five, uh, Falcons. The Falcons win 38-32 over the 7-9 Saints, and that was a barn burner. You had two teams that were high octane that were scoring a lot of points, and this is one of the reasons why I'm disappointed that the uh, New Orleans Saints did not make the playoffs because they are always exciting. And once again, for the uh, for another time in his career, um, uh, Drew Brees throws for over 5,000 yards in the season. Uh, I think he threw like two or three touchdowns. Uh, Matty Ice threw like three or four touchdowns. I think they combined for six touchdowns uh, up, uh, together uh, in tandem. And that was an exciting game, man. But unfortunately, the Saints ain't going to be there to, to keep things exciting for me. But the Falcons is another team you Cowboy fans need to worry about. We're going to keep it moving as we what? Move the damn chains. The next team that we're going to talk about is the 11-5 and Giants. Win 19-10 over the 8-7. Redskins. The 8-7 and seven Redskins had an opportunity to make the playoffs by just winning. They had their destiny in their hand and they couldn't handle it. At the end of the day, the Giants are playing like they're supposed to play. They're playing just good enough and when the playoffs start, they're going to turn into a whole nother animal. They're another team that you need to be watched out about. It is, it is what it is. We're going to keep it moving. Next game we're going to talk about, man, is another team that the Cowboys need to be concerned about. And that's the 10-5-1 Seahawks. They win 25-23 over the 2-14 San Francisco 49ers. As far as statistics, there ain't a whole lot to talk about. But 
it was marred and it was overshadowed by reports at the beginning of the game that uh, 49er GM Trent Baalke was finally given his walking papers. Just like in Friday, he got fired on his day off and he was out the door. But the thing that was really uh, brought to light was that Chip Kelly was uh, also uh, fired as well. Um, but the thing about it was that I thought was I thought it was kind of bush league by the 49ers to leak that stuff out and not let these cats know they was fired already. Now, I know Trent Baalke was told that, but when Chip Kelly was brought to Chip Kelly's attention, he didn't know anything about it. So I like to liken it to having a job. How do you think you feel if you walk into work and everybody's like, uh, Damn, damn, Cliff, I just heard the news, man. You fired, man. Yeah, Cliff, man, damn, dude. What you gonna do now, man? You're like, huh? Cliff, oh, we're gonna miss you, Cliff. And you don't even know you fired, man. Then you walk in, everybody's patting you on the back. Your bags are already packed. And next thing you know, HR's calling you and telling you, uh, here's your final check. Get the hell out of here. So I just thought that that was kind of bush league. But then again, at the end of the day, San Francisco 49 fans, you got more to worry about than how somebody was fired. I know you don't give a damn. You just want them out the building. Now you got to figure out what you're going to do. But we're going to keep it moving as we move the damn chains. Uh, next game we're going to talk about is the uh, 7 and 8 and 1 Cardinals win 44 to 6 over the 4 and 12 Rams. That's a boo boo game. It's a boo boo game because nobody cares about those teams. But something else happened and the uh the uh overshadowing uh situation in that game is that uh there's a mutual interest between the los angeles rams and um saints coach uh uh sean sean payton and if sean payton uh if, if they can come up with the money or the draft picks or whatever that sean payton might be coaching the rams and that's exciting for us out here in la because if we don't have football here we damn sure need to have something exciting because the rams ain't exciting and this next team we're getting ready to talk about is no better and that is the five and eleven chargers who lose uh 37 uh to uh to 27 over the 12 and 4 uh kansas city chiefs who won the afc west due to my oakland raiders not winning now we're going to talk about the chiefs but first thing i want to talk about is the five eleven chargers five eleven chargers they are uh, they just fired their coach mike mccoy he's gone gave him the boot the stadium was damn near empty nobody gave a damn so it's looking like dean stanos dean spanos the owner of the uh the Chargers, is probably going to move their team to los angeles so we're going to have the Chargers and the rams here man one team that's four and twelve another team that's five and eleven man you gonna have to bring in uh uh you better you better bring in uh sean payton or you better go get uh, uh john john madden or somebody you better get somebody, uh, Bill Cower, somebody that we can see on the sidelines because both of them teams ain't winning nothing. And in regards to the Chiefs, the Chiefs do what they always do. Just play solid football. Uh, uh, Tariq Hill, Tariq Hill, he, the boy's a beast. Boy runs back a, 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 a long kick again. You know what I'm saying? He's a dangerous cat, man. So Patriot fans, don't think that this is going to be a cakewalk. I know you just you guys ain't no better than, than the damn Dallas Cowboy fans who think you guys got this all in the, in the bag. You know what I mean? Let's play the games, man. I know you guys are the best teams, but let's play the games, man. Anything could happen. You know what I'm saying? And so that leads nice segue right into the 14-2 four, and two, uh, New England Patriots win 35 to uh, 14 over the 10 and 6 Dolphins. And it's the same situation, man. I mean, how many times do I need to say Tom Brady, Tom Brady, Tom Brady? You know, ad nauseum. Tom Brady does what he needs to do. He goes in there, throws three or two, two or three touchdown passes. Julian Edelman does what he needs to do. Has over 145 yards, some odd yards, and receiving. And had, had the longest touchdown reception of his career. Um, but at the end of the day, what does it hurt? The Dolphins are in the playoffs. Okay? So it doesn't really matter. You know, a lot of these teams didn't even play their players. You know what I'm saying? So there's going to be a whole lot of boo-boo games. And we might as well get those out the way now. We might as well get those boo-boo games out the way, you know. And here's one of them. The 5-11 and 11 Jets. They win 30-10 over the 7-9 and 9 Bills. Boo-boo game. It's a boo-boo game. Why? It's because the Jets. But at least Todd Bowles for the, the Jets coach get to keep his job. And the Bills, your guys got exactly what you deserve by getting rid of Rex Ryan because I don't think he should have got fired because 7-9 and 9 is not his fault. That's your fault, you know. And that's why Shady McCoy got hurt, you know what I'm saying. And that's why Ty Tyrod Taylor's hurt. And you Bills are going to stay right where y'all at because you guys keep making inept decisions. It is what it is. We're going to keep it as we what? Move the damn chains because that's what we do. Next boo-boo game is the 30, uh, uh, the Vikings win 38-10. Uh, to 10. They're 8-8. Eight and eight. Uh, They finally played the way they're supposed to play. Sam, Sam Bradford threw three touchdowns. Uh, the Bears... 
the, you know, the Bears are the Bears. The Bears played as well as they normally could play. Uh, I, I think Matt Barkley is the quarterback there. I think you guys need to build around him. But then again, where have these Vikings been? Vikings, you guys were playing like this at the beginning of the year. And now you guys are, 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 are playing too late. It is what it is, man. I ain't going to waste no more time talking about y'all, man. Y'all boo-boo. And so are the Bears. And that game is boo-boo. And we're going to keep it moving because we don't talk about boo-boo games on the Flow Sports Radio Show. That's it. That's all. Sorry. Next game we're going to talk about the 8-8 uh, eight eight Colts win 24-20 over the Jaguars. That's a boo-boo game. It's a boo-boo game because why? Because it's the Jaguars and the Colts. But at the end of the day, the Jaguars get rid of their coach. I was going to say his name, but I forgot it. And I ain't got no notes in front of me, and it ain't that important. But he got booted. But I like the Jaguars. There. I like their, their roster, but they need to do something other than continue to be 3-13. and 13. So I ain't going to waste my time on it, man. We ain't got time for this. I'm glad that this season's over. So a lot of these boo-boo games I ain't got to talk about. We're going to keep it moving as we, what? Move the damn chains, because that's what we do. Next game we're going to talk about is the 9-7 and seven Buccaneers win 17-16 over the 6-10 and 10 Panthers. That's a boo-boo game with interesting people. Uh, that's a new one. That's a, that's a boo-boo game with interesting people. The interesting people are... Um, who are they? They're nobody. I'm just going to go ahead and change my mind right there because that game's boo-boo. I'm not even going to talk about it because why? They, neither one of them teams is going nowhere. We ain't talking about that. I changed my mind. I could do that. It's my show. Next game we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about the uh, the Bengals win 27 to 10 over the uh, uh, yes, over the uh, over the Ravens. Okay? The Ravens. Come on, man. Ravens. Come on, man. Outside of that, the only thing about this game that I want to talk about is uh, Steve Smith Sr., man. I give a moment of sign for Steve Smith Sr. The boy said he's retiring, man. Boy's a beast. I wish he doesn't retire, man. I love that cat, man. But Father Time is undefeated, man. I'm going to show respect out of that, but that's a boo boo game. I'm going to keep it moving as a move to change. Next game we're going to talk about is the 9 and 7 Titans win 24 to 7 over the 9 and 7 Texans. Boo-boo game. Production. Move the damn chains. We're going to keep it moving. Next game we're going to talk about is the Pittsburgh Steelers. They 11 and 5. They win 27 to 24 over the 1 and 15 Browns. Now I understand. I know what you Steelers fans are saying. You Steelers fans are some of the cockiest people I know. Y'all really think that you guys really did something. Y'all ain't really do nothing, man. Y'all won 27-24 over the Browns, and y'all barely won. You're going to say, oh, we didn't have Roethlisberger. Oh, we did. We pulled all our players. You guys still should have beat them cats, man. Clemson could beat the Browns. Okay? Understand that. So don't get too happy, man. Just get ready for the playoffs. We're going to see what happens when that goes down. Next game we're going to talk about is... Is that the next game? Or am I done? I might have I might have blown through this. No, I did not. I knew I didn't forget a game. I knew I didn't forget a damn game. Finally, I've been talking about you Cowboy fans. Thir- 3 and 13 Cowboys. You guys lose 27-13 over the 7 and 9 Eagles. That's not a problem. Okay? Because you guys did what you should have done, which is sit people. Because people are out of your head hunting. And that was very smart for you guys to put Ezekiel Elliott's behind right on that bench his street clothes and then uh in regards to the eagles uh carson wentz is your future that's all you need to know there's nothing else you need to talk about carson wentz is the future of the eagles build around him and we'll talk in a couple of years but in regards to this game the biggest news was tony romo finally got some snaps and tony romo came on down that one possession and he looked crisp and he looked ready to be playing so, as far as that I'm concerned, it's just a matter of time before either Tony Romo is going to try to get some game time, Jerry Jones ain't playing, or they're just scouting him to be traded later. And that's pretty much what's going on with that, man. Still uh, crazy production, I still baby. think Dak Prescott got this in the bag, but it's just letting it be known. And your boy Mark Sanchez, man. I don't understand how Butt Fumble still has a job, but then again, somebody got to get a check, so I can't hate on the brother for that. And, and that's it. Flow Sports Radio Show. Keeping our snitching down to an absolute minimum. But until then, 
game on. <laughs> <laughs>